How do you get a customer that's on the verge of buying but needs a little nudge? That's where your company profile video comes in. Hi, it's Seto from Render Forest. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to create your company profile video. If you haven't already seen my video on what a company profile is and how to create it, you can click the link above now to watch that video, then come back here once you're ready. Be sure to watch until the end of the video to claim your promo code. In this video, we're giving out three free downloads. When you see Randy appear, leave a comment with the timestamp of when he comes up. The first three to comment will get the free downloads. First, I'm gonna show you the document that I created with the last episode's information. So I'm gonna bring up my Word doc. This is the example company. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. The first section is gonna be about the basic company information. I made this company up. I'm calling it La Cafe. I did an old video with this example. We're gonna do company name, establish date, and the location. I made this up, but of course for your company, make sure it's real. The second chunk is gonna be about the basic company information. This can be a little annoying to do, especially if you're a busy small business owner, but it's really good information to make sure it's accurate and up to date. There is some information that might not be applicable to you. So for this example, for this cafe, I say that uh, the public relations and advertisement is not necessary. If it's needed for your company, put it. If it's not, leave it blank. Section number three is highlights. So if your company has awards, certificates, you can put that in this section now and keep it up to date. So every year come back to this. If you have new awards or certificates, add it to this area. Number four is the optional items. Uh, you can put sales and target information, but I'm gonna leave it out of the video that we create today, but still put it on here just for your own knowledge. For partners and photographs, I'm gonna leave as NA because for this example, it's not necessary. Now that we have the text prepared, I'm gonna show you how to create the video. It's funny because creating the video is probably gonna be shorter and quicker and easier than creating the text part. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to keep our text open so we can copy and paste the information. I'm gonna to go to Render Forest and then Create Video. I'm gonna to go to Product and Services Promotion. Even though this isn't going to be an ad, we can still use these templates for the same purpose. So I'm gonna sort by new. I'm gonna scroll down. Now we have a lot that you can use for the same company profile purpose. So for example, this vibrant motion intro, this hospitality promo pack. I like this one called the color craze topography. But again, we have different templates that can be used for the same purpose. I'm just using this as an example. So I already created one as an example already. So basically I'm just gonna go real quickly to show you what I did. I basically just copy and paste it from my, from my text document to the video maker. Um, you can either upload photos from this tab here, or if you wanna use stock images, you can use the stock photos or stock videos we have within the website. Of course, customers love to see pictures and videos from your actual location. So if you have pictures and videos, use those. Again, for the next slide, I'm just gonna use text from the, from the document. I'm gonna copy our establishment date. You can click on the text box and paste it. Again, here's where you'll add your picture. All right, so this third scene um, is just text, another video. Now this one, I wanna explain the lower third settings. This is a new feature, so if you wanna play around with the, the, the text duration, you go, go ahead and see which works best for your video. Some might be better for quicker text, some might be better for longer text to appear. So we're gonna scroll over to the end of the video. This is where the kind of closing statement is gonna be for my company profile. I'm gonna leave it off with the company address and contact information. So you can click on the box, add your address. You can put the address in the beginning of the video if you want. For me personally, I like to have it at the end. If you don't already have a logo, you can create it with this logo button or you can upload it through the upload button on the left side. All right, so let's go to style and the fonts. I'm gonna stick with the default font, but if you wanna change the font, you can change it. Music, I'm gonna show you how I put the music onto mine. So I'm just gonna delete the old one. You can use ones from our library, but I'm gonna upload one that we already downloaded. This is a song we have the license for. You can hit the plus button, and then we're gonna go to preview. I'm gonna go ahead and download the HD exported version. Here you can go ahead and render the HD version. Also, you can get to it through my videos. So once it's done downloading, you can hit okay, and it'll download straight to your computer. All right, let's take a look at the final version. Oh, 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 
The video looks great. Now I'm going to show you how to integrate the video into your website. So you have the video saved to your computer. Make sure it's the correct version because if you do multiple versions, you, want, you don't want to upload the wrong one. The first step is you're going to go to YouTube. As you can see, I already uploaded this video to YouTube, but if you're not sure how to do that, you can go to the right hand side in your studio maker, upload your video, and then you can make sure it's either public or unlisted. If you want the public to see this on your company's account, you can make it public, but if not, you can keep it unlisted and then we're going to integrate it into your website. So you're going to click the three dots, get the shareable link. And then in the other tab, I already have up our website. You're going to go to your website maker if you have a website through Render Forest. So you can go to your name, go to my projects for websites. You're going to go to edit. Now I'm going to use this old example website that I've already made in the past just as a demo. I'm going to go to the about page and I'm going to click the plus button. On the left hand side, you'll see that they're categorized by features. I'm going to add a video insert. On the top, you can edit your text. So I'm just going to call this the fake company that I made up, Black Cafe. And I'm just going to write the description as company profile, but again, customize it to your specific, to your specific industry and company to change the video, click the video icon. And then this is where you're going to paste in your URL from YouTube that you uploaded. You can click and play and make sure it's the correct video. All right. looks good to me. Then we're going to go and publish it and save it. That way we make sure when the website goes live, it's the correct, it's correct and updated. So this is, this is the actual website, not the edited mode. So we're going to go to the about page and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page to make sure it's updated. And as you can see, the title changed, the description changed, and the video is now the new company profile video that we just made. You can play it just to make sure it's correct. If you're a small business owner, entrepreneur, or just trying to improve your side hustle game, I hope this helped. Thanks for sticking with us so far. You can use the promo code that appears now for your first paid subscription, but don't wait too long because it's only good for a short time after the video is published. Check out the links in the description for the link to this video's template or to read more about this topic in our blog. If you got something out of this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell for more creative and branding tool tutorials. Thanks, and see you next week.